Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So this is going to be a uh, Aries Sun, Aries Moon and uh, Aries Rising. Uh, we monthly, excuse me, it's our reading for a July 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump straight away to, uh, to the reading. Man, I love my new deck. It's just because you know what? For, for these readings, I'm using a specific uh, tarot deck. It's it's called Radiant Reader. Uh, I couldn't supply myself because it's not dispatched here in Bulgaria. For the reason being is that it's only produced or manufactured by US gaming company, and uh, every tarot card deck in Europe is supplied from Switzerland from a company in Switzerland, which obviously is not US gaming company. Anyway, so yeah, I, I just love my new deck. Anyway, so the first card about Aries, uh, topic of the month, is going to be uh, the Four of uh, Swords, followed by the second one, which stands for the peripheral activities that Aries can uh, go for. Now, this is a very situational card, guys. Uh, it refers to the uh, additional things you can get done through the month, which are residing outside of the very topic. Uh, then it is the third card which stands for the challenges that you have to overcome throughout the month. We do have the um, King of uh, the King of Swords. And then the, la the uh, fourth card is going to stand for the positive outlook of the month. What is going to help you? Throughout the month here we do have the Nine of Cups. And the last card uh, for you, Aries, which stands for the guidance that Saru is offering to you guys, that will be uh, the um, strength card. So once again, going through all of them, uh, we do have the Four of Swords sitting as a topic, followed by the Justice card, which is uh, the peripheral activities that you can take on. Afterwards, we do have the King of Swords, which stands for the challenges, uh, then it is the uh, Nine of Cups, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the final one is going to be uh, the guidance that Tsar is offering to you. We do have the Strength card. All right. So uh, this is going to be rather quite chilled month uh, from what it seems. <clears throat> guys, which the challenge, uh, Aries, you know, guys, Aries. Uh, because the challenge isn't going to affect you that much to be honest i mean the challenge it's look like that is going to be a someone problem which tries to make it your problem as well and it totally it doesn't have to be your problem at all but um the first card here which stands for the topic it is the four of swords which is a, a card generally associating with resting having a time to catch up your breath and as well in the more um faithful times that the card manifests itself, it is also a, a time about the liberation, what you should do from now on, you know, I mean, if you are in a, 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 a area or other field of your life that you are on a threshold and you need to decide what is going to be your next move, it's, um, it's pretty 
possible that uh, this answer is gonna be figured out throughout the month of July. The accompanied card here, it is the seven of uh, the seven of wands formation. It is a uh, active friends that we do have here and seven of wands represents more about uh, with the four of swords in this case it's about the, the the resignation and the humbleness that one has toward the world you know a, a carefree behavior and uh, as well the recognition that stress isn't helping at all all right and the recognition that just worrying about things ain't gonna solve those those things and sometimes you know you need to pick up the right moment you need to pick up as well the right means and and the appropriate action for that matter so even though if you are finding yourself in a rather stressful situation entering the month you know the the, the the solo recognition here the not being able the well I don't know how to explain it but so the the recognition here worrying about it is not gonna help it out at all and you don't have to worry at all but you would worry only when you can do something about it is going to exert a lot of peace in your life so it's gonna be quite peaceful like I said and chill month uh, a month where uh, the peripheral activities are marked by the justice card so the justice here only says that you can use this these time of peacefulness and uh, and time of um, order because they are going to be as well a time of order to sort something uh, some uh, responsibilities you do have which are rather minor and they are they are fitting in the in the daily routine like responsibilities toward the family responsibilities toward work and etc etc just the ordinary thing showing yourself accountable to all the situations not leaving your job for the very last moment like I do, for example, because I am, I am like that. I'm leaving my job for the very last moment, most of the time, which isn't a, a good thing at all. But what the card points is that you can use the time to structure your life, you know, and to become more, not reliable, uh, but more accountable to all the situations. Uh, then we do have the page of uh, pentacles here. And so the formation, it is a active enemies, um, and uh, additionally to that, uh, this also speaks about the entirety of the peripheral activities uh, with the page here. It does mean that you are to recognize that some of your activities in general that you're contributing, which are not substantial for your well-being, you know, they are just for entertaining, for example, or just to kill time, are not efficient at all. And therefore, it seems you are that are going to just you know, let's say shrink the varieties of those, um, how do you say it in English, um, casual stuff that you are doing, just orienti uh, orienting yourself only around those that uh, truly holds uh, a lot of meaning for you rather than just, like I said, kill time and um, waste energies and um, and effort as well. In other words, here we are talking about uh, recognizing which um, proper action that you are to take justifies the, the means that you are going to incorporate in it. If I have to give you an example, you know, you may like to socialize yourself a lot with people, to associate yourself a lot, a lot with people, but there are gonna be some people that you're just, that association ain't worth, because either because they are emotionally overburdening you, or you're not counting as the time, the time spent with them is productive, so you no longer are going to do that, although these associations are not substantial for your well-being, so something like this is to happen. Then the next card, guys, is going to be in regards to the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the month, that is going to be the King of Swords. So the way I see that card, it is a, a person who likes to keep the things serious and it's exerting pressure and panning where no, no pressure and panning needs to be exerted. For example, let's say that things into your career are going very well, not just for you, but also for your company and because everybody is working peaceful and somewhat um, sedated, all right? I'm sorry for the expression, but that is only the, the, the word that I could have figured out right now. So, and sedated toward the work itself, your boss feels a little bit, you know, 
how can I place it, Aggra aggravated by it, not seeing uh, any speeds up in there, so uh, artificially exerting pressure upon you all, maybe spreading rumors or twisting the truth, ex explaining how bad the company is in right now or what, how bad stage the company is in right now, so it can bust your, uh, your asses. I'm sorry for the, uh, for the expression, where no bust really is, uh, is needed. And, um, well, in generally, it is a, a person who likes to uh, dictate the rules and right now no dictation it is needed at all. Um, and yeah, the challenge is going to be you figuring out, you know, how to be uh, as little affected as possible by the, uh, by the chase of dominions of that person, King of Swords. The accompanied card here is going to be uh, the King of Cups. Uh, formation, it is a active neutrals that we do have and totally irresponsible, uh, irresponsible, excuse me, uh, behavior is what we do have here. It's basically we do have a person who simply loses it, all right? They, they just, because they don't know what to do. Uh, well, I would say that way, that is a person who is used to um, have always drama around, you know, that is person who always needs to over exaggerate things. And because everything is going so smoothly, there is no drama around and there is no exaggeration at all. They are artificially uh, exerting that exaggeration and drama where drama is not needed at all. So basically, um, yeah, you need to try to find a way how to be um, as less affected as possible. The best way to do that is ignorance. You just pay no attention to them whatsoever and things should go fairly well. So the next card, which represents the positive aspect of the month, that is going to be the Nine of Cups. And it seems that it's going to be quite a pleasant month where there are going to be a lot of um, activities uh, which are going to create a, uh, I would say, sensual joy uh, within you. <clears throat> You know, and, and simply said, you're going to feel happy, okay? In the month, you're going to be happy either because uh, you're going to spend a lot of time with your beloved one or you're going to um, meet your new beloved one, you know, just you're not going to know at that point that that is your future beloved one because we do have a decision making in that case with the Four of Swords. Anyway, however, it's going to be a month where your emotional satisfaction is going to be uh, exponentially boosted here. Now, what is important to be said about the nine of uh, cups however it is that whatever it, it's manifest it manifests for you throughout the month you know either a good achievement a job you know or spending good time with people or spending good time with suitor these things are not granted you should not take them like i said for granted but instead you should do whatever is necessary in order to secure it and thus traversing the the short-term happiness into a, a long-term one the accompanied card here, it is the Knight of Cups and things are getting really, really interesting. Now, these cards, I really hate to um, speak with Taro about that, but these cards are strongly suggesting a dream come true. It's because the Knight of Cups always goes toward the dreams of his heart, all right? And the Nine of Cups as a... Um, uh, as a, a main card into the position shows that these dreams are to become real. But the very initial state of them, like I said, you need to do whatever it's needed in order to secure that position. And that will be a process. It's not going to happen overnight. So you, 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 for example, start the dream job of yours. It doesn't mean that this job is going to be secured for you forever. You need to keep on performing. You know, you need to keep pushing yourself to be better and better so you can sustain, you know, that job. Same happens about relationship, but definitely here it seems that, um, you know, something very exhilarating, exciting and emotionally overflowing uh, with joy is to happen to you throughout the uh, Mont Aries. And um, it will be a shame, guys, if you slack and do not uh, sustain and secure it. And so the last card that we do have for you, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> is going to be the um, the um, the guidance, sorry, and that will be the uh, strength card. 
So what the strength points is that it is best one to persevere through patience. And like I said beforehand, things aren't going to happen overnight, right? This is a uh, your success into achieving the dream of yours. It is um, a um, cumulative effort of your patience, you know, of your performance as well, of your tenacity, of your consistency, and etc., etc. So, but for now, throughout the month, uh, the strength card points that you have to persevere through patience. Additionally to that, the strength card urges you to jump into those activities which you find, find exciting and which you find um, and vigorous, right? It's like having a lot of enthusiasm to do so. You don't have to uh, contribute into those activities which are uh, feeling tedious and, and irritating to you, even though uh, most of the people may, th may think so that you should because the strength also, also stands for that you don't have to uh, explain yourself constantly, but only to, uh, sh to allow your actions to speak for yourself uh, or to speak for themselves. The accompanied card here is going to be um, the chariot formation. It is a uh, active uh, enemies that we do have. And with the chariot here, you have to share as well your good for fortune and exhilarating experiences with those which are there to your car to your heart. As the chariot is a card of singularity, as any uh, active enemy to the strength card, it points that simply... Um, you are going to feel bad alone. There, there ain't going to be any enthusiasm. There ain't going to be any thrill of, of what you are to experience throughout the month. So whatever good fortune comes to you guys, um, you have to share it with those that you love and those which which loves you. So all in all, to summarize all that, it seems quite of a good month for you, Aries. It's going to be very peaceful. It's going to be very... Uh, stress deprived ex except you know that person which you totally can ignore you can totally you know push aside and don't pay attention to them whatsoever and through uh throughout the months where it's going to things are going to develop very peacefully and uh you know very consistently uh suddenly it pops up a uh, conditions where you can make a dream of yours reality However, like I said, it will require consistency, tenacity, you know, patience as well, and performance. And I hope you have what it takes to, uh, to basically make it happen. So that being said, Aries, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading, July 2019. I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.